Iran's president has reacted defiantly to the killing of a leading nuclear scientist. Hassan Rouhani blamed Israel for the assassination of Muqsen Frakhizadeh, a man suspected of masterminding a secret nuclear weapons program. Rouhani said his death showed that what he called the depth of the enemy's despair and said it would not slow down Iran's nuclear ambitions. Moksim Fakhrizadeh was killed in an ambush as he traveled along this road to the east of Tehran. Several gunmen are reported to have opened fire on his car. Shortly afterwards, a nearby truck exploded. He initially survived his injuries but later died in hospital. First, the car carrying him was shot at, and about 15 seconds later, a Nissan pickup truck loaded with explosives blew up about 15 to 20 metres away from his car. Both inflicted wounds on him that led to his martyrdom. State media describes him as an eminent nuclear scientist. He was also a member of the powerful Revolutionary Guard, whose job is to guard the country's cleric-dominated system. This is a rare photograph of him with other senior officials. They were meeting the country's supreme leader, indicating just how powerful a role he played in Tehran. He was called the father of the Iranian nuclear program because uh, he was uh, running this program, um, which, uh, as, as you know, is part of an international dispute. It's this role that made Fakhri Sadeh enemies. In 2018, Israel's prime minister accused Iran of covering up an ongoing nuclear program. Despite promising world powers, it was not pursuing the bomb. And you will not be surprised to hear that Sapand is led by the same person. A key part of the plan was to form new organizations to continue the work. This is how Dr. Mohsen Fakhizadeh, head of Project Ahmad, put it. Remember that name, Fakhizadeh. Iran now says it believes Israel is responsible for the killing of the nuclear scientist. It's acknowledging his death has damaged its defenses and is vowing revenge. And for insight on this, I'm joined by Guido Steinberg, an expert on the Middle East from the German Institute of International and Security Affairs. Uh, welcome to the program, Guido. Iran is blaming Israel here, and as we saw, Fakhri Zadeh has clearly been on Israel's radar for some time, but what do you think prompted the killing now? Well, I, th I think it's, uh, it's no surprise that the Israelis would want uh, to assassinate the head of the Iranian nuclear program. They have already assassinated nuclear scientists between 2010 and 2012 in a last phase of escalation between Iran um, and, uh, and Israel. But I think the major reason right now is that they still have the support of the Trump administration politically, but uh, perhaps also operationally, and uh, they want to make it the Israelis want to make it as hard as possible for President-elect Biden um, to start negotiations with the Iranians next year. Mm -hmm. and Iran has vowed to retaliate. Uh, what kind of form could that take? Well, the Iranians have retaliated in the past. In 2012, uh, I believe that the Israeli uh, attacks stopped when Iranians and their allies, mainly uh, Lebanese Hezbollah, attacked uh, civilian Israeli targets uh, so that the Israeli government decided that the price was too high um, for Israeli civilians to pay for these assassinations. And I believe something similar might follow. Um, the Revolutionary Guards uh, might also want to attack American, uh, American or Israeli targets, but uh, in most cases, at least in Western countries, they are too weak to target uh, hardened. Uh, well-protected targets. You were saying just earlier that one of the targets uh, was the scientist, of course, but also the policy of President-elect Joe Biden as, I think, the United States plans to, to re-enter the Iran nuclear deal. How does this make things more complicated? Well, uh, the Iranian side will have to prove internally, especially to the powerful revolutionary guards, uh, that they are uh, not giving in uh, to uh, the pressure campaign by the Trump administration. It will make it extremely hard uh, to uh, this, well, uh, the pressure campaign and this event will make it extremely hard to convince the Iranian leadership that it's worthwhile uh, to negotiate with the United States, um, especially because uh, major parts of the
the Iranian power elite believe anyhow that the United States, Israel and the West in general do not uh, want them to have a peaceful uh, nuclear program. Okay, Guido Steinberg from the German Institute of International and Security Affairs, thanks so much.